I'm sure you guys know what Dynamic Island is, right? And what if I say that you can bring that feature on Android by just using an app? Wait and watch this video till the end because I'm going to do exactly that. But before that, in this video, we are going to take a look at some amazing applications that are very useful and starting from a trick with which you can measure your heart rate without having a smartwatch with just your phone. How? How is that? Are you serious? The app's name is called as Instant Heart Rate and this uses a combination of your flashlight and your rear camera. So the app is very simple. If you open it up, it'll ask you to keep your finger closed to the rear camera. After doing that, you have to wait for some time and hit the button and now it will start reading your heart rate. After some time, it will display your heart rate. And if you compare that result with your smartwatch, it is pretty accurate. In fact, in my case, it was accurate every time when I compared it with the results of my Galaxy Watch 4. In terms of accuracy, I think this is something that we can trust and believe. The link to download this app is in the description below. Check it out. Do you want to secretly chat with someone? Well, there's an application for that that doesn't look like a chat application like WhatsApp or Messenger. It's very simple and surprising too. The app's name is called as Google Docs. Yes, we all know we use Google Docs to create a document, a word-based document. But do you know that we can use it for an anonymous chat? Well, it's pretty simple. Go and download Google Docs and create an account or log in with your existing Google account. Now, after downloading the application, make sure your friend that you want to chat with also has the application and also has a Google account signed in that particular application. After doing that, give them the access of the document. Create a document, first of all, by naming it something else that you don't want others to get noticed of. And then give the access, give the editor access of that particular document to the other person whom you want to talk with, with their Gmail ID. After doing that, you and them both can access that particular document. And now if you start typing, the other person can see from their smartphone. And if they start typing, you can also see what they are typing. So this is a really cool trick where you are using a document application to chat with someone secretly. Now, if you have come this far watching this video, then I'm sure you guys must be waiting for the dynamic island trick for Android. Yes, it will be here. Wait for a few minutes, watch this video till the end. You will get to know that. But before, smash the like button for the efforts taken to make this video possible and also to make this video reach to more and more people for whom it can be useful. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we make awesome tech content and upload it daily. Now you might have an old black and white picture of your parents or grandparents that was taken way before. And I know at some point you might have thought that, hmm, how cool will this look if it was in color? Well, don't worry, with the help of AI, you can turn a black and white picture into a color picture. How? It's by an application called as Colorize. Now, Colorize is an AI-based application where you can turn your black and white pictures into a color picture. You can do it in two ways. One, by directly capturing it with your camera or two, by importing it from your gallery. And after doing it and click on process, you have to wait for some time for the app to do its magic and boom, there you get a colored picture from the black and white picture that you have uploaded. This is a really cool trick and it will really amaze us with the capability of the AI because it is so accurate that if you see the picture, you will think like it was taken in a digital color camera. The link is in the description below. Check it out and let me know your thoughts on this. Now, the fourth application on the list is called as handwriting to text. It is simple as it sounds like. The basic function of this app is to convert any handwritten text into a digital text. Now, I know you guys might be saying that, hey, this can be done by Google Lens. Why do you need a separate app for that? There's a catch to it. Now, if you use Google Lens to identify a handwritten text, you have to make sure that the handwritten text is a neat, legible and clean. But with this application called as handwritten to text, you can identify any handwriting and convert it into a digital text. And that is the speciality of this application, the accuracy part. So the app is very simple to use. Open up the app and it will show a camera interface where you have to point at the handwritten text and tap on the button to click the picture. After doing that, if you wait for it to process, it will automatically pick up the handwritten text and convert it into digital text, which you can use anywhere in the digital document. This is a really great application and I am sure it is much more accurate than the Google Lens feature. All right, so the last and final trick is here, which you guys have been waiting for, which is none other than Dynamic Island on Android smartphones. It is very simple and it can be done with the help of an application called as Edge Mask. Now, there's a short setup process for making the Dynamic Island come to your Android phone. So watch this video carefully and do not skip ahead 
because you might end up missing something else. So go to Play Store and download Edge Mask. And after doing that, open the application. After opening the application, grant all the permission that the app needs. After doing that, tap on the effect. Now after that, you have to enable the punch hole lighting, which is an effect that will make a notch, punch hole, pill or whatever it is to glow when you get a notification just like the iPhone 14 Pro. And then you can also adjust the size of the glow from the settings and also the placement where your notch is exactly. Most of the time, if you enable this setting, it will automatically recognize whether you have a pill, a notch or a hole punch cutout. So you don't need to adjust any of those settings by default. Now, after doing that, go back to the home page and tap on message. Now, after doing that, you have to enable the Samsung message style and disable everything else. After doing that, Dynamic Island on Android has been set up successfully. Now you can also change the color in which the notification appears, which will be on the settings. If you enable this option in the settings, you can now match the color of that application from which the notification comes, which makes the notification look really sick. I know you can't compare this directly with the execution of Apple for the Dynamic Island, but hey, it is not bad. In fact, this is the best way to mimic the dynamic island feature on your Android smartphone and I've tested it. I've been using it for the past couple of days and I've never ever faced or come across a bug that has caused the app to crash or like anything else. So I'm sure you guys love this trick of enabling dynamic island on your Android smartphone and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now don't start ranting me for making you guys to click this video to watch this video till the end. But hey, this is the best that we can do on an Android smartphone to enable Dynamic Island or the low budget Dynamic Island. So yeah, that's it for today's video. We have recommended five great applications that's extremely useful at any cost, including the Android Dynamic Island feature. Now give this video a like for the efforts taken to make this video possible and also to reach more and more people. And also share this video with all of your friends because it has five amazing useful applications. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we upload tech videos every single day. So yeah, this is me Anav signing off. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.